not so much a steal for Manchester United as daylight robbery. Terms down at Blackburn, which then gave me uh, permission to go and talk to other clubs. United was the first club. I must have spoke to United, and that was it. I just wait to sign for them. Mayhem, just amazing, said the papers. David, as surprised as anybody else, that Blackburn let him go. Once David knew we were interested, there was only one outcome of it. Really, he was desperate to sign for us, and that's terrific to to, to see actually that um, he was more he was more keen to come in at any point I can remember you know so it gives him a great start doesn't it one of David's greatest friends is the former United striker Mark Robbins who played for the same junior team in Manchester Boundary Park David Platt was another contemporary in the same side which is still one of the best around managed by Gordon Robbins you guessed it Mark's dad I was just playing a, uh, around the golf with him and he says Dave if you get a chance go he says uh, you'll love it and really that was probably one of the reasons why I went but for such a snip, it couldn't be all good for United fans, could it? Dave's a blue, through and through. I remember him uh, getting to the uh, cup final against Tottenham. I was only uh, 10 at the time. I was gutted then. I got beat. Did you go down and see them? Did you get a chance? Yeah, to? yeah. You went to Wembley? Yeah. Well, both occasions or yeah, just... Yeah, both. Really? Yeah. Where time you... off school. <laughs> well, honestly. Oh, <laughs> that's a giveaway now. Yeah, yeah. Could you see? Were you standing up? Yeah, I was standing up, yeah. Couldn't see much. Did you see the goal, Ricky Veer's goal? Uh, no, actually, I was watching some uh, fighting. <laughs> there was fighting going on down the bottom, so I was watching that. He suddenly had time to learn from one of the very best in Kevin Moran, who he says is his favourite player. Similar styles, just less scars. May's comfortable at right back or centre half, which he says is his preferred position. He's the unfussy type who's assured and calm and very, very effective. As at right back, you know, it's. For me, I always thought it was like playing the third centre half. It was uh, really it's a doddle playing right back. <laughs> he says, "Is it a doddle when you're marking people like Ryan Giggs?" Uh, well, you're just trying to stay away from him. <laughs> well, we always find here that um, when you sign someone in as someone, it it does give the place a little edge to it. Players, whatever position you may buy they start looking over their shoulders a little, and I think that's a good thing. I've not uh, gone to United to uh, just sit on the bench or sit in the stands. Uh, I've gone there to play. It's not too many United players who have partners who compete in the head tennis, with girlfriend Karen, 20 keepy-uppies across the washing lines, the record. Beat that. <laughs> Edit! This is a competition at Man United. Roy Keane's had it for the whole year, the worst haircut. I'm not saying that yours yeah. is the worst, but they, they Good have... Good chance of it. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In the summer signing stakes, Chris Sutton slipped the United net when a spiralling auction that Sotheby's would have been proud of began to move into 